Naturally Quinn presents The Blowout Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you all how I achieve my blowout. So I'm starting off on hair that's already been sectioned and moisturized. To see how I moisturize my hair, click the link above. Since we only need one section at a time, let's tie those other pieces up. Now as I said before, there's already product in my hair from moisturizing my hair using the lock method, but we are going to add water. Now you want your hair as wet as possible, not dripping wet, but just saturated. You always want to make sure your hair is wet before using a blow dryer. If not, you risk damaging your hair, and it makes it much harder to get the results you're looking for. Once I've worked the water completely through, I grab my paddle brush and detangle. I always detangle from tip to root. Alright, now my hair is completely detangled, so I'm going to actually break this section up a little bit and start working in smaller pieces. The smaller the better. Alright, time for the fun part, the blow dryer. As you can see, I've got a blow dryer with a pick on it. It's also got multiple temperature and fan settings. It blows cool, warm, or hot air, and it's got a cool burst button. I'll be alternating between warm and cool. So I grab my hair, making sure to stretch it as straight as possible, and then I glide the blow dryer through. If you're trying to avoid heat damage, then I highly advise against using high heat. Warm air is just fine. It takes a little bit longer, but it gets the job done. The goal here is not to straighten my hair. I'm just stretching it to make it easier for protective styling and to give my styles a more elongated look. Notice that I start with the roots first and then I go to the ends. Doing it like this gets the best stretch possible. So far, so good. Now I'm just going to twist up the section to get it out of the way and then move on to the next. And once I've completed blowing out a section, I add it to the previous section before it. This is just my way of gathering the blown out hair and separating it from the parts that haven't been blown out. So feel free to do what you like with your completed sections. Alright, the end is near. Once again, I saturate my hair with water. I gently detangle with my paddle brush from tip to root. Then I divide the hair to get a smaller section. I blow dry alternating between warm and cool air and going from root to tip. And I'm done. Now it's time to release all those other sections and let my inner lioness come out. <laughs> this hair is so much fun and so easy to maintain. And this whole process only took me about 45 minutes. Not bad. Especially considering the last time I did a blowout, I used the tension method and it took me two hours. Alright, so here it is, and I think I'm going to need a little trim. Oh, the things I can do with this hair. This is going to be fun. Thanks for watching guys. Bye! Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me at Blogspot, Instagram, Tumblr, and Facebook. See you soon!